What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another Flipping for Profit video. Now, this series on my channel, normally it is me talking about stuff that I've sold on eBay, my eBay experiences as a seller, selling stuff locally, stuff that I've bought to resell, stuff like that is generally what this series is about. But today is going to be about something that I bought off of eBay that I wasn't expecting it to come in the condition that it had. Let's get right into this. <music> So as you guys know, I am an eBay seller and most of the time is just me selling on eBay. I don't normally purchase off of eBay and if I do, it's not often, but whenever I do purchase off of eBay, normally it's something for my personal collection, whether that's a video game to add to my collection and eventually play or a comic book that I'm missing from one of my sets or different collectibles or things like that. Normally, whenever I buy off of eBay, it's for my personal collection. However, from time to time, I do look for stuff to resell and sometimes I do look on eBay. I've had great success in the past different video game lots, NES bundles, PS2 bundles, stuff like that generally is whatever I buy to resell, various handhelds as well. So recently I did stumble upon a white Game Boy Advance, and in my area, Game Boy Advances sell anywhere from $100 to $125, and anything that I buy off of eBay, I never list back on eBay, just personally, it's not my preference just because there is a sold comp for what I paid for it, so I just like selling locally if I bought it off of eBay, so I knew locally I'd get between $100 to $125 for a white Game Boy Advance. Now, based on what I've seen in the ad, the photos and description, it looks like it was a gently used Game Boy Advance. Now, I decided to purchase it for $80, and that included the shipping, taxes, and the cost for the Game Boy Advance, which I thought was going to be a pretty good deal because on the low end, that meant about $20 profits. On the high end, about $45 profits, and profit is profits. So I thought that was going to be a great deal, but whenever I received the Game Boy, it was not what I seen in the ad. Now, as a seller, I know the importance of whenever you're listing something on eBay, make sure you are explaining everything that is potentially wrong or any flaws that you have with your item, unique features with your item, whether that is taking multiple shots and multiple photos of your item, and doing different angles and stuff like that and also mentioning everything in the description it's important that whatever you are selling on ebay make sure you list it exactly what you are selling if there's any flaws damage cosmetic damage stuff like that make sure you put that in the description and in the photos and this seller did not do that whenever i received the game boy it was heavily damaged there was tons of scratches on the screen there was chunks out of the shell and yellowing on the shell the chunks it looks like a dog may have been chewing on it turning it over the uh, battery cover was replaced which they did mention in the description but that's the only thing that they mentioned in the description it was replaced however the clips were broken so it wouldn't stay on the game boy on top of that, they left the old batteries in the Game Boy Advance and they looked like they were corroded and leaking at some point. I did attempt to test the Game Boy Advance with the batteries that were in it and it wouldn't work. I took them out, I cleaned up the terminals a little bit, I replaced the battery with new batteries and I did get it to turn on. However, the speaker does not work. There is no sounds and it is technically broken. Now I've bought in stuff in the past and it has been my fault because I didn't look at something in the description or I didn't look at the ad fully. So I decided to look back at the ad first. And that's when I realized that the ad said that was gently used and this thing was heavily cosmetic damaged. It wasn't working properly. It wasn't in the same condition as what it showed and said in the ad. So I decided to reach out to the seller first and they just did not respond so I was forced to contact eBay and they decided to open up an item not as described case against the seller. Now within an hour after eBay opening up the case the seller did contact me and ask me what is wrong with it so I just mentioned everything that I explained to you guys it's heavily cosmetically damaged it wasn't working properly the battery cover was broken and they did issue me a return shipping label. Now they originally shipped it to me with 
and at a post. However, the return shipping label was for FedEx and I don't have a FedEx in my area, but I did reach out to them and ask if they would provide a different one and they declined. So I decided to take it to FedEx and try to use it anyways. The closest FedEx to me is about a 20 minute drive one way. So I knew it was a hassle, but I decided to attempt it anyways. That's whenever I noticed that in my information on the return shipping label between my name and the address, he actually wrote loser in brackets, which I just thought was extremely childish because eBay has records of that. And there's proof that you're just doing stupid stuff like that. And eBay does not like that. But regardless, I did go to FedEx and they told me that they don't know how he purchased the label, but it is invalid. It won't even scan. So they were not accepting it. So I had to come home, call eBay, see what they wanted me to do next. And that's whenever they reached out to the seller because I've already asked him for a different label and he said no. So now they were stepping in and he still did not message me back or respond to eBay. So I called them back a few days later and they did send him a final notice to provide me a working shipping label, a return shipping label. And within a couple days, he did send me a refund and I only seen it on my email. Now, a couple days later, instead of sending the return shipping label, he did send me a refund. But whenever I opened up the email, I noticed he didn't send me a full refund, only a partial refund. I paid $80 for it. He only sent me a refund of $20. So I'm assuming in his mind, it was because he says he paid for a return shipping label, even though it was invalid and it wouldn't work that he already had to pay for that cost. So he wasn't fully refunding me. So I did reach out to eBay and they looked at the case and they said that the reason that he did a partial refund because they have to select a reason and give a reason for it. He puts that the item that I shipped back to him wasn't in the condition that he sent it. And I contacted eBay whenever I was on the phone with them. I told them that I never even shipped the item back because they never provided me a working return shipping label. And whenever they looked into it on the accounts, they confirmed that. So they just on their end sent me the difference, which was the $20 that was remaining. And whenever it comes to selling on eBay, make sure you properly list whatever you are selling. If there's any unique flaws or anything that's wrong with your Game Boy or whatever you are selling, list it in the description, put it in the photos, make everything very clear so you don't have something like this happen to you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, me talking about my experience buying this Game Boy and also really how to do eBay and as a seller, make sure you're listing everything properly. Make sure that's how you do it if you are an eBay seller. And if you do receive something that is damaged and not as described, First, just contact the seller. Most sellers are understanding and just will offer a refunds, but sellers like this, you might have to get eBay involved, unfortunately, and it just makes a bad rep for all of us that sell on eBay because people think that all of us are like this and we're just really not. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.